So you want to overclock an RX 580 graphics card. Maybe for gaming, maybe for mining. Either way, stick around and I'm going to show you everything you need to know. Ah, the RX 580, a beautiful workhorse of a graphics card. First appearing in mid-2017 based on 14 nanometer architecture and supporting DirectX 12. There are quite a lot of versions of this card on the market. This particular model happens to be the Power Color Red Devil. It's definitely one of the higher end models made, but the overclocking steps are going to be the same no matter what model of card you happen to have. The first thing you're going to want to do is update the drivers. Now that our drivers are nice and updated, the next step is to install an overclocking program called MSI Afterburner. MSI Afterburner is a totally free tool that gives you all sorts of control and real-time monitoring over your graphics card. It's made by the company MSI, but in no way do you have to use it with an MSI card or anything like that. MSI Afterburner works with both AMD and Nvidia graphics cards. There's no signup required or anything, so highly recommend it. Here we are in MSI Afterburner. You can see we can set our core clock, our memory clock, our fan speed is currently on auto. Click this and then move this around to select a manual fan speed. Normally I'll leave it on auto for just general use and for gaming, but when mining, I'll uh, lock it at a certain percentage to keep the temperatures the way I want them. You can see the voltage is currently disabled by default. If you want to change the voltage, first you have to go into the settings. Go over here, check unlock voltage control. I would recommend being very careful when um, changing around the voltage and do it in very small increments. Once you've changed the settings the way you like them, you can hit this checkbox to apply. You can hit the save button to save. Over here on the, the right hand side, you pick a profile to save as and click this reverse arrow to reset the settings back to master. Up here in the upper right hand corner, you can click this button here to apply these settings automatically every time Windows starts up. So the main settings you're going to want to be focusing on are your core clock, your memory clock, and your voltage. Now I'm going to put a list of common successful RX 580 settings that people have used in the past that I've seen people use in the past that may work for you. I'm going to put a list of possible settings up on the screen, but I'm also going to put the list of possible settings down in the description. Feel free to also go through the comments uh, to see if anybody has successfully used other settings. Now that you've locked in your overclock settings, you're going to want to test them. For gaming overclocks, I'll usually run a quick benchmarking program called 3D Mark Demo just to make sure it can run through the test without crashing. 3D Mark Demo also allows you to get some rough performance ratings to see maybe how much things have improved. Now for mining overclocks, I just start up the mining software and let it start running. I'll see what the hash rate is and let it run for at least an hour. Both with gaming and mining, once the settings have been pushed too far and I start seeing graphical glitches or crashing or things just don't seem to be working right, I'll dial the settings back to what they were just previously when everything was still nice working solid. At that point, I now have a good idea of where the sweet spot is for my particular card. I can either stick with those settings or try tweaking things just a little bit further. Now, once you start using your card for real, such as a marathon gaming session or mining for 24 hours straight, you may start encountering issues that didn't crop up when you were just doing a quick test. If that happens, go back into MSI Afterburner and tweak things down just a little further until things are running rock solid for you. If you have an RX 580 that you've successfully overclocked, I'd like to know what settings were you able to achieve? Feel free to add a comment with what those settings were and that information may be helpful to other people who are trying to do the same thing. Well, that's all I've got. Thanks so much for watching.